Greetings from the far off land of Inaba. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Persona 4. I'm just wondering if we'll actually see any plot this episode. I'm just gonna go ahead and whoa, random people all over the place. Hey, this guy looks familiar. I guess so. Hmm, why is he suspicious? That is a good point, though. I didn't want to go to the textile shop. I wanted to go to the mailbox. I don't even have enough. Anyway, to the shrine. Calling the fox after fulfilling an Emma's wish will strengthen the bond you share. However, time will pass. It's a shrine. You should report to the fox about making the wish of the Emma come true. Call the fox. It's like an instant rank up here. The fox brought you the Emma with the, the wish you fulfilled. It's probably worried about the outcome. You told the fox that you granted the wish written on the Emma. The fox looks exuberant. It also apparently runs circles around you. The fox looks at the offering box and seems pleased. The room, rumors of the shrine's beloved spread, more people may come to make offerings. You can sense the fox's gratitude. Rank up! Healing was cheaper. I mean, healing is now made cheaper. Uh, that's what I just said. We passed some time with the fox. It's getting late. We decided to go home. The fox is kind of creepy anyway. It's now the evening. Welcome. Anyway, to the fridge. There's a frozen banana inside. Eat it. Sure, why not? Nothing bad's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Did you eat my banana? Um, no. Hey! Yeah, I don't have enough expression. And somebody's going to annoy me about visiting the TV world. I'll think about it. But for now, let's translate. I had to work on translating. You had a hard time translating the expression in f the foreign language. Your expression has significantly increased. There we go. You can't read this handwritten sentence. Mmm, speculate from context? Guess what the letters are. I'm gonna guess via context. Aha! You're in 6,000 yen! Woohoo! You overhear students talking. 
The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Ah, right. It's gonna be all work. Not gonna have any fun at all. Uh, but there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. But that's too much work. I'm so lazy. Anyway, it's after school. I'm gonna go to the drama club today. Yes, I will. Okay. Yasugami High Drama Club. You participated in acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. I should actually do that in real life. My expression has significantly increased. Ow, I didn't mean to read that line. Whatever, any... Well, when I was saying it, I... Oh, never mind. Moving on. Okay, so we're supposed to remember a line. Got it, now pay attention. I'm crying. What crazes, what crazes miss is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely a tr the trickle of your tears. Alright, let's go for it! Uh, I already forgot it! Stupid memory. The line began. What crazes me or not? Then it went... Uh... I hate forgetting things! Light of the moon... You're getting into it! I think. You recited the entire line with lots of emotion. Uh, did I get it right? Okay, next person then. What? Hey, don't... Don't replace me! What? Yumi seems to be a completely different person as she recites. Aha! So I was right! Load... Yumi's own eyes are full of tears. She's become the character itself. You shouldn't taunt people. I mean, I gave it all my all as well, I think. No, I didn't. Everybody recited the line, but Yumi was the best, hands down. Next to you, of course. Nice! Uh, wait, what? You must play Yumi's husband in the short skit. I think so. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a my all. There's no sense of giving up now. Okay. Yumi seems excited by that. Wait, what? <laughs> That's not what I meant.
That sounds like most actors. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> With Yumi's encouragement, you decided to accept the role of her husband. You feel like your relationship with Yumi has deepened a little. Rank up! What? With Yumi's help, you were able to complete the skit with, to the applause of the entire drama club. Let's go home. Yumi seems very happy. You went home. Okay, moving on. After school at evening. Naraka is watching TV today, as usual. Hey, if look, it's want, Tanaka. You can change the channel. Uh, no thanks. Tanaka looks bored. You might as well try a magic trick. Nako is watching curiously. Decided to show her magic trick. Why am I reading the same lines over and over again? You put the rubber band on your index finger and middle finger. You also hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? Something awesome. When you open your up your hand, you head close tightly. Or lightly. The rubber band springs off the index and middle finger and instantly moving over the ring finger and pinky. The Nako saw part of the trick. I saw it! It, it went like, zoom! Do it again! <laughs> One more time! Although, she doesn't seem to notice. She did seem delighted anyway. Okay, my turn now. Nanako is laughing cheerfully. The night continues. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this ain't like ordinary camping. It's gonna be a place of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. What? You know, you all depend on other people too much. That's why you jerk-offs have all the spare time. Oh, he'll do it someday. Or, she's doing it for me. I bet that's all you think about. Let's take a closer look at it, shall we? What's the root of the word pen? Aurora, stop smiling and answer. Wow, that was a creepy face. First of all, how could I be smiling in this class? And second, it has nothing to do with logic. Pen, huh? Words with pen in them, huh? I have no clue. Vincent, help me out here. Pen. Deep pen. It's either the top two, because I know I answered to support during my original go, and it wasn't... <sighs> Independent. I'm thinking of other words right now. To hang! <laughs> you gave him the answer that you think is correct. Ah, pretty good, Harumar. Or should I be praising the fur instead? You're right. The word, the pen, means to hang. Like Harumara was too tongue-tied to explain, words like pendant and pendulum are good examples. Oh, okay. Those girls who got murdered were fooling around and depending on others. That's what got them killed. Now that guy I ran into may starting to make sense. Unless you want to end up the same, make sure you don't depend on too much on others. That was evil. How could he say that? Thanks, Vincent. You probably have stabbed me to death with this word if I haven't depended on you. Yosuke appreciates you! Expression has significantly increased. Wow, I'm being very expressive this episode. 
So much for the plot. It is now lunchtime. I bet Yosuke is gonna be like, Hi! Let's hang out! Oh no, it's Kanji. Yo. I guess. Maybe you should hang out with Kanji after school. Maybe you should mind your own business game. Let's go to the roof. Talk to the girl again. After you t asked her that question, she began talking about her goals for the future. You listened intently. You heard something that might prove you to be useful. You should report back to her admirer. To the classroom! Second floor. Oop, that's not the way to the classroom. Or is it? Am I in 2-2? Two, two? I always remember being in 2-1. Yep, it is 2-2. Two, two. And you're a creep. I want to punch you in the face. Tell him what you talked about with the girl on the rooftop. Although it took several weeks to get a straight answer out of her. Received a go home. Completed quest three. Go back to the first floor. Let's talk to you. What do you want? I'm busy. Uh, let's ask her out. What? Hi, staring at you intently. Whatever. Just skip your afternoon class next time. We'll go somewhere far away. With your overabundant courage, you're able to slip out of class with ease. Huh, okay, whatever. Actually, this guy looks suspicious. What does he want? Okay, whatever, dude. Ah, it's this guy. Oh, hi. Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Fine. These words are harsh. Unfortunately, your impressive understanding allowed you to thaw his icy demeanor a bit. Heh, <laughs> really? Kanoshi's brother is smiling glumly. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. At least he didn't run away this time. I think in my shoe locker. Damn. Oh. Seems Yukiko isn't busy right now. You'd rather hang out with Yukiko than uh, Kanji right now. Considering you have yes. no pre uh, personas of the Emperor Arcana. You might as well hang out with somebody that you do have. But you just walk anyway. I'm gonna skip this because there was nothing interesting in it. It is now the evening. Dojima's gone. Oh, welcome home, big bro. The fridge, nothing in there. I'll skip that for now. Can I go to the hospital? An abomin- 
Hospital. Empty hospital room. You busily cleaned up the ENT. Recently vacated. Blah, 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 blah. You can't talk all of a sudden. You busily cleaned up the room. Huh? You feel someone watching you. You decided to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning anyway. Courage greatly increased. Or just increased. Oops. It's that nurse again. Run away from her. Nice work. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. You're weird. The nurse seems kind, however. Okay, that works, I guess. <laughs> what? No coffee? <laughs> Um, can you get out of my face, please? Please get out of my face. I'm not interested. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> Remind me never to come here again. You can feel the mischief mischievous affection coming from Sayoko. You feel a faint bond forming between yourself and Sayoko, even though you don't want it to. I'll be. This will be hilarious if it's the death arc. No. Thou has established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. You shall be blessed when creating personas of the devil, Arcana. Oh, hey. I'll see you again. No, you won't. You finished your job and went home. You earned 5,000 yen. Ka ching Morning. Unfortunately, I'm ending my episode, so tune in again for more Persona 4.